Cyprus is to begin screening water for radiation amid fears that radioactive matter could be present in water and mud as a result of offshore drilling. The risk is from exposure to increased concentrations of ionizing radiation present in the ground in the form of radium, thorium, uranium, lead and radon. Recent studies around the world have highlighted the need to investigate water safety. Ricky Shields with more. Naturally occurring radioactive materials, or NORM, are radioactive elements that have always been present in the Earth's crust and are found naturally in the environment, including uranium, thorium, radium and radon. The background concentration of NORM is typically low, however higher levels may arise as the result of human activities, including gas and oil drilling. When this occurs, NORM may be present in the liquids and gases from some geological formations. Scale from oil recovery brine, for example, may contain radium at much higher concentrations than the original water source. Sludge and drilling fluids may also contain elevated levels of norm. Special precautions are needed for these materials and also for industry workers at the site. With global oil production currently at 96 million barrels per day and an estimated 216 trillion cubic metres of gas available now for extraction globally, equal to more than 60 years of production at current rates, it's no wonder that Green Party MP George Bedigis is welcoming a government plan to enforce research and clear safety guidelines to check for the risk of norm in drinking water and soil here in Cyprus. The Labour Ministry's Department of Labour Inspection will be responsible for checking and enforcing the new regulations. And while it must be stressed that there is no danger from the work that has been completed up to now, it is incumbent on the regulatory authorities to monitor and ensure that ongoing work poses no danger to citizens. Workers in the oil and gas industry are exposed to many dangers, hydrogen sulphide, chemical drilling fluids, mercury, fumes, and of course the sheer physical danger of working with flammable gas. The danger to the general public is thankfully minimal. However, we need to ensure that our drinking water is not contaminated either by radiation or any other byproduct of the extraction process. That being said, scientific consensus shows that the use of fossil fuels themselves and human activities are a major contributor to global climate change. And that doesn't stop us drilling, so neither will this. This is Mr Shields reporting for Rock FM. On air and online at rockfmcypress.com. Today's best mix. Rock FM.